In 2019, local Vietnamese authorities continued to harass religious groups and close houses of worship that were not registered under the law on belief or religion, which violates international human rights standards. Hello, my name is Stanton Dolce, and I'm commissioner on the United States Commission on International Religious Freedom. In our 2020 annual report, we have again recommended to the State Department that Vietnam be designated as a country of particular concern for its systematic, ongoing, and egregious violations of religious freedom. During 2019, USA re received reports that Vietnamese authorities interrogated, harassed, or physically assaulted independent Khao Dai, Khmer Krom, Ho Ho Buddhist, and Dong Van Min. An estimated uh, 10,000 Hmong or Montana Christians remained effectively stateless because local authorities refused to issue identity cards. In October, Plan Calls Police beat up six Ho Ho Buddhists, protesting plans to demolish a temple in Angang province. There are many ways in which the US government can pressure Vietnam to ensure its citizen the basic human right of freedom of religion or belief. You can learn more about this at www.usurp.gov.